Good evening, hello and welcome to the Diamond Art Show with me, Sam Van Jean. We are live today on this Sunday evening and um, I'm going to wait for a few more people to enter the room before I show you what I'm going to show you today. And I've got loads to show you today. Um, I'm really excited. It's been a little while since um, I've done a live feed with you. So we've got uh, an iPad, uh, a light pad to give away today. Um, I'm going to show you some amazing pictures um, in all different sizes. I've been seeing lots of people in the group wanting to know where do you get the big pictures from, um, how are they going to look, how expensive they are. So I've got a real variety of different pictures to show. Um, there's been a long conversation on this group for ages about whether you seal your pictures or you don't. I'm going to try sealing a picture for the very, very, very first time. I'm going to do that today. Um, I've also got some amazing tools to show you that literally are the only things that you need for doing diamond art. So there's a few people that have entered the room, so I'm going to say hi to Victoria, hi to Jammy, hi to Missy. Thanks very much for joining. I'd love to know where you're from. Um, are you in the UK or are you outside the UK? Um, hi, Laura. Thanks very much for joining. Lovely to see you. Um, I've got so much to show you guys today. I'm so excited. Now, some of you uh, that watch me regularly may see that I'm in a different part of my house today. Um, because I'm going to do this whole sealant thing, um, I needed to do it on a different table away from where all my other stuff is. And as you can see behind me, here are some of the first pictures that I ever did. And I literally discovered diamond art just before COVID hit and lockdown came. Um, and I used to do it for about eight hours a day. It was crazy. The, sun, the weather was lovely, so I sat outside in the garden, got a great tan, and I really enjoyed it. And a lot of conversations also having in the group is about framing. So as you can see, the picture right above me, the picture has got a border around the side of it. You, Because the diamond art pictures are such unusual sizes, you need to find a frame that's slightly bigger than the picture, um, and it will make it look better. Because if you see from this one here, so this one that's up here, right, It's there's no border at the top or the bottom, so it's the wrong frame for it. But this one up here, you will see, has got a nice border and it looks better. So when you are looking for frames, that's the tip that I give you is for that one. Hi, Cheryl from Burwell. Um, Karen from Carlisle. Jill Williams, hello. Casey, hi. Um, Karen, Caroline, thank you so much for joining me. I've missed you. It's been a little while. So now there's a few more of you in the room. I want to know from everyone that's watching, do you seal your pictures? Yes or no? Just say yes, just say no. I want to be able to see um, what... Um, what your views are. Uh, Patricia, you've got all the pictures that are behind me. They're so lovely, aren't they? I love this style. Um, to be fair, these two here uh, came together as a pack of two and they were given to me by my best friend for Christmas last year. Um, so I've got a few more as well. Heather is watching. Cheryl says yes. So there's a few of you that are saying yes. Hi, Linda from Canada. Um, hi, Sarah Lucas. No, you don't. Okay, so there's there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a real mixture. I've never sealed any of my pictures, but to be fair, as soon as I did a picture, I either stuck it in a frame or I put sticky back uh, plastic uh, sticky thing on a uh, double-sided tape. That's the word I'm looking for. Double-sided tape I put on the back of the pictures and I stuck them up on the wall like this one here. Okay, um, so I've never needed to. But now I've got so many pictures. I've put them in a bag. I managed to find like an A5 um, art folder and I've put them in there and as I took them out this evening to decide which picture I was going to seal them on some of the diamonds had actually come off so it made me think oh, okay I might have to give this sealant a go now a lot of people especially from America think that Mod Podge is supposed to be the best thing to use there's quite a few different ones there's one that's like a white liquid um, and there's one that's clear so I would presume you should go for the clear hi Lorraine from Ipswich um, Sandra this is my first time watching from Malta thank you so much I love Malta I've been a few times so thank you um, Tarina from London uh, Nicola she tried it once um, and this is I presume sealing it and it took the sparkle off the drills so this was my issue so what I found is actually a varnish now the varnish is supposed to be just as good to be able to seal the diamonds it will still stick it like glue it doesn't necessarily have to be a thick sealant or 
like a gloopy glue, all right? Um, because I've been watching what all of you guys have been saying about sealants, and there's a real mixture. Um, hi, Missy's from North Dakota, fabulous. First time watching in Alabama for Patricia, thank you, and Megan as well. I'm loving this, brilliant. So the sealant that I'm gonna try for the very first time today is called Spray and Sparkle. Mm -hmm. This was $6.99 from Amazon, um, and it's basically a silver glitter varnish. So I thought by maybe having it as a spray would be easier for the picture. By having it with a little bit of glimmer in it will help keep the shine in the pictures. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. So we're going to do this live now. So as you can see, this is a brand new, brand new packet. First time open, first time ever sealing a picture. Oh, well, that's a good start, isn't it? So let's put that back in there. Now, you've always got to give it a shake. Makes that silly, silly, silly noise. And this is the picture that I'm going to do. So one tip that you should do when you've finished your pictures anyway, take a straightening tool, like so, and make sure all your edges are straight. Just give it a little push as you slide along, do it on the side, you can do it in the middle. Just make sure it's all straight and then rolling it. This will make sure that any diamond that maybe you got stuck as you were doing it quickly and it was night time, may not have completely gone in. Make sure you do this around the whole picture. You can hear there's a couple of clicks there. Okay, so you want to do this throughout your whole picture. If you're working on a big picture, some people I've seen um, use rolling pins or most of the diamond art companies will sell bigger rollers. This is just a little face roller because I tend to roll as I go. <laughs> so I'll do a little bit and then I'll roll over it. So we're going to give this a go. Now it needs half an hour. So normally this show is about half an hour. So I thought, Let's do it at the beginning, and we'll see what it looks like at the edge. So at the moment, it looks quite a decent picture. You've got to make sure whenever you're sealing something, you're protected. I've got an old shower curtain here. Um, it says, have a nice day on it, so that's why I've kept it. Um, and you want to protect the table. I'm presuming it might stain if you put it on anything, okay? So let me put you up a bit. And... It says on the back, spray from a distance of 20 centimetres. Who knows what 20 centimetres is? Um, coat the surface lightly and evenly, and the spray should disperse at a fine glittery mist. Ooh. For a more intense sparkle, reapply over the same area, but allow for 30 minutes to dry. Okay, so let's have a little spray. Shall we? Ooh. I think a spray is probably definitely easier than like a glue and a brush. Would you say that's about enough? What do you think? Dorothy loves my nails. Thanks, honey. What do you think, guys? Is that enough? Or shall I put some more on? Say, enough or more? Someone let me know. Hi, Kim from Haverhill. Megan's watching. Sarah's... Nim, okay, what do you think? Shall I put a bit more on? I'm going to put a little bit more on just to, okay, that's it. All right, so we are going to give that half an hour. Thanks, Dorothy, she says enough. We're going to give that half an hour now, and we're going to see what that looks like later on. Oops, hold on, I need the stand to show you. I'm also going to be giving away a light pad later. So if you joined me a couple of weeks ago and got in the draw, um, then you would have been sent a little message from me. I'm going to be pulling the names out of an actual, literal hat today. All right, and um, I'm going to do that later on. So when you're starting your diamond art or you're a little bit more experienced now, you'll see on Amazon mainly and some of these other American and Chinese websites, there's loads of different tools that you should have, that you shouldn't have, and that you need. I have got my top tips for the best tools to be able to use because these are the ones that I only use when I'm working. So everything else that I've got is literally in a box and packed away and I just keep out what I need. And I'm going to show you some of the little bits I've got. So can you see what's in the corner here? Some of you that have maybe seen some of my shows before know that I have been looking for a Henry the Hoover. I mean, I knew where it was, but I didn't know if I wanted to spend 15 quid on it. 
and it arrived today. <laughs> so I treated myself. You definitely need a little desk cleaner for when you're working on diamond art because no matter what, your diamonds will end up going everywhere. Um, so getting a little hoover is good. And I've had a little five pound hoover that I got, but look how cute he is, Henry the Hoover. Um, so in here, by the way, it's battery operated. Now I have already put the batteries in. Annoyingly, I had to get a, find, a, find a screwdriver. So make sure you've got a screwdriver if you get this. And you can see, okay, so battery operated. And look, it's come with all the little tools. Little one like that. And a little one like that, okay? So um, I definitely recommend Henry the Hoover. He's very, very cute. Um, and I'm gonna have lots of fun with him. I'm actually thinking I might take him to work. Because you know when you're snacking at your desk, I think Henry might be a little bit better. So there we go. That's $14.99 um, and he's from Amazon. So you definitely 100% need to have a, uh, a desktop vacuum. All right. The other thing that you need is washi tape. This little company, again from Amazon, and later on this evening, I will put a, a massive post on in the group with a link of where all this stuff is. Um, this was under £10. Um, it came with these colours and a box of other colours as well. And this is the washi tape. And if you haven't used washi tape before, it keeps your picture clean around the edges. So if I show you here, I've got washi tape all the way around here. And it keeps this little bit here cleaner because on every diamond art picture, that bit at the edge of the picture is sticky. And there's a load of washi tapes on there, but you want to find something that's a bit thinner. You don't have to go for the fancy stuff because then it makes it easier to come off. And I'll show you how to do that later. So definitely you need to have some washi tape in your life. Now, some conversations I've heard and seen in the group are people that end up having um, arthritis in their hands or are really sore. Get yourself a stress ball. And when your hands get too sore, just take some time out and just use this to be exercising your fingers. Um, I suffer from arthritis in my hands um, and these really, really help. I've actually just got myself my new ones and these ones have got little affirmations on them. Again, also from Amazon. I love Amazon, literally. I can't tell you, I go there for everything. Hi to Patricia, loves Henry, very cute. Isn't he so cute? It's 5.15 in the morning in Australia. Lynn, thanks for all your tips. Thank you so much for getting up so early to come in to watch, I really do appreciate it. Um, Patricia, she's just started using washi tape and hello to Faith, okay, lovely. So most of the kits will all come with your little pink plastic pens. Definitely invest in a harder pen, one that's a little, a little bit more fun. And these pens, you can find them everywhere. You can find them on Amazon. Mine came from Art Painting World. Um, and this comes off and it comes with um, a couple of multi-placers so that you've got your round nib and you've got the multi-placers. So that's for you every day. Get rid of those plastic ones that come with the kit. Now, wax has been a major issue. People don't like it. You need to see what type of wax you're getting. This is a really thin one. I found the bigger squares and I use those for multi-places because you end up taking them, uh, you end up using up all the wax. But if you don't like doing this, 100% invest in a wax pencil, especially when it comes to round diamonds. You have to sharpen it um, and this entire pencil is wax. All right, now it's better when you're using the checkerboard system. So that's the one where you put a diamond down, miss one, put a diamond down. So if you do the first set of the checkerboard with a wax pencil and then use this one afterwards, you'll get a much straighter line, okay? Um, Multi-placers are a must. Sarah, most of my things come from Amazon, I love it too. Um, hey to Zoe, um, as she goes. 2, 12 p.m. in Oklahoma, thank you Dorothy. Um, Nicola, love the wax pencils. These also came from Amazon, they came in a pack of five and I think they were just under a tenner as well. But as I said, I will put a link on absolutely everything in a post later on this evening. Um, I I tell you, you have to, have to, have to, have to get with multi-placers. They are an absolute game changer. This one, this is my favorite one. It's not the, the poshest one that I've got, um, but the, this, this one just works for me. So I'm always gonna be using this one. This one means I can pick up more than four diamonds in one go, so up to four diamonds in one go. And as you can see, 
you can see a little mark in indentations there just use the wax all right that's all that you do um, and this one can pick up to 10 Heidi where are you and what time is it there well I'm obviously in the UK um, and it's quarter past eight um, hi Kimberly Deborah I love the square and round pen saw you got it as a gift and it's amazing the only pen I use and that was the one that I was going to show you next so this was a gift um, to somebody that's been regularly watching uh, my live feed so thank you for that this is great actually this came with the three multi places the small the medium and the large and they're screw ones right so they're easy to they don't fall off like the plastic ones and the special thing with this is it comes with a square nib and I have just completed a square picture and honestly I use this for the majority of it um, and it's absolute game changer because when you try and pick up square diamonds with a round drill most people will say it's really annoying and then you end up wanting to use tweezers and unless you're really good with tweezers most people don't like square pictures this is a game changer it's about 15 16 quid look out for it though because on Amazon it does go up and down in price so the more people buy it one week it will be really expensive so just Put it in your basket and keep an eye on it. Um, but you should be able to pick, pick it up for about £15 and it is 100% worth it. And you also get these tools. Now I've shown these off a few times but said, nah, not using it. I have just started using them. And actually, it takes a lot longer, granted, because I'm still learning. But they work really well. If you are a bit more advanced into diamond art, want to test yourself, then this is worth giving a go. I'm going to give you a little, a little show, all right, just so you can see. So this is one of the Fat Lady collections that I'm working on at the moment. Now this is one that I would classify as a confetti picture because up close it doesn't look amazing, but I know that when it's finished, and I've only done this bit here, when it's finished it's going to look much, much better. But for me to be practicing with all these different um, tools, then um, this is great so I'm going to do it on the ones that we've got here all right so once you put your diamonds in the tray I love the big trays but when you're going to use multi places or any of these tools a hundred percent you want to be using a bigger tray so you put the diamonds in giving it a shake and a little bit of a shimmy all right and eventually the diamonds will all sit in the grooves that are there and I do recommend especially for using this tool that you try and straighten some of them up all right because they need to be kind of quite close together so like this line here you can see oh look of a stowaway let's get rid of him because that's a that's a nice line see how easy that was to pick up with this wax pencil um, so you want to straighten them up that's enough. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, there's always one, isn't there? All right. You want them as close together as possible. You will. It will seem like it's really slow because you've got to get used to it. So you basically just take. So I've put the double-sided tape that comes with it round the side, but I've left a little bit of a gap there so that I know where I want to start and when I want to finish. So I'm going to start there Oops. it's because i'm doing this with the camera as well and you slowly oh i missed a couple <laughs> okay so that was rubbish <laughs> i'm gonna try that again oh i've been using it this afternoon and i've been doing so well that's really bad. It's a shame I can't press stop and edit and redo that again because this is live. So let's try that again. Has anyone else used these, by the way? Um, hi, Sue. Hi, Faith. Um, let's have a look. So let's try that again. So just press gently and then roll like so. <gasps> That's better. Okay and then grab the area that you want to do and then you're basically doing the same thing again lay it down on the first one and then slowly press as you roll ta-da look at that now obviously when you're first practicing it 
you might like this one here and I need to give it just a little bit of a shimmy down but if you manage to do it with the small the medium and the large and it's the type of thing where you can do a little bit and move on so let's grab let's grab some more and I'll show you what I mean so um again roll gently roll like so when you get the hang of it it's quite fun because it's just it's just a little bit different so I could go there and then I've got a couple there and I could just do that see okay it is clever Trina thanks very much really clever it's taken me I was scared to use this I'll be honest with you I was really scared to use these but um, I was using the medium one this afternoon so I thought I'd show you just with the small one so if you're a really good multiplacer I dare you to try this and I want you to give it a go for your next picture and then let me know how you get on. Um, hi Brenda, hi Lisa Marie, uh, let me go know where you guys are, are watching from. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so there's those tools work the same as multi-places but you do need to make sure you get some double-sided sticky tape. They don't always come with the kits. I got these from Art Painting World and they did come um, with the double-sided sticky tape. Otherwise, you'll have to do an Amazon check because it needs to be really, really thin. Okay, like so. All right, that's how thin it was. So I've got quite a bit there. So I've really enjoyed today using this. Uh, Sue, I like to do one at a time. I used to do one at a time and that's how I loved it. But then, then I started using multi-placers and now I started using this. It means I can get through the pictures a lot better. Amy's from New York. Um, love New York. I was there a few years ago. Um, Christine's from Scotland. Um, Lisa Marie, I'm new to diamond art and I'm absolutely addicted and I'm from Coventry. Thank you so much for joining me. That's how I started. Literally, once you start one, then you are totally addicted. So, uh, we've got a few festive holidays coming up soon, um, Halloween being one of them. Um, I saw this on Art Painting World. This is a part drill picture. Look at that. <laughs> How funky is he? Um, now, part drill, if you see pictures that say part drill, basically mean not all the picture is diamonds, okay? So, as you can see, these ones here with the symbols, that's what you put the diamond art on, but this isn't. So, if you've got kids that you want to have a go, then you should definitely, definitely do this. Vanessa, when you have lots of one colour, it really makes a difference to use multi-places. Totally, totally. They are game changers. Uh, Lucas, I still struggle. Sarah Lucas, I still struggle with multi places. I'm still working on it, but I do one to one at the time. Okay, so let me let me show you something then with the multi places. All right, so let me bring these back again. Uh, with the multi places, start with a small one. Okay, if you don't get on with them, don't worry. Start with a small one. Okay, so that's the one that I'm going to show you here. Put your wax in like normal, and again, have your tray like this so that the diamonds are next to each other so that they're easier to pick up. Okay, so let's turn her around and I'll show you here. Okay, let's just uh, bring you down a little bit. Can you all see that? Okay, so here we've got three ones there. All right, so just slowly move three across. They're away so you don't get it stuck with any more. And gently press down, okay? Not too hard and it will pick up. And then place it down, okay? Just like that. With multi-places, do it slow and do it small. Sometimes I don't always use the big one. If I know that I've got a really long line like some of these ones, 100% I'll be using this and the rolly one. Um, but again, start small, okay? We're going to go and pick up four. By the way, did you know that four of these diamonds together equate to one centimetre? Bit of useless trivia for you there. So again, slowly. Have your fingers behind the pen like this to help support it. Hold the tray if you want to. Don't press too hard. Go over it. Hold, pick it up, okay? And then if you want to, you can do it at an angle and then go down like that, okay? Once you get the hang of it, 100%, 
you will your pictures will be done so much faster and you'll really get it and uh, missy where did you say you got the picture all the pictures apart from the custom picture of my cats i'm going to show you all come from art painting world actually i lie there's a couple that come from other places which i'll show you when i go through some more but this one that i'm working on which is the fat lady collection um is from Art Painting World and they've got loads of different ones. So if you're wanting to do multi-places, as I said, just start small. So again, there's three that are here. So I'm just going to move three over for me. Put your fingers behind, hold onto the tray, gently go straight onto it, pick it up. And there we go. One, two, three. Boom. Okay. And then once you start to get fluent in that, move over to the medium ones and the biggest ones. I promise you, if you have a picture that has loads of one symbol, so for example, this section here, right? There's a lot of ones, okay? And whereas beforehand, I can't believe I used to do it one at a time. Now with multi-places, I can get this done in not a lot of time at all. So, um, but I'm working from this edge. So yeah, this is one of the fat lady ones. So that's multi-places, okay? Um, I hope that helps, Sarah. Uh, Vanessa's, it seems with multi-places, you can get a straighter line as well. Yes, you can, some you can't. Um, Karina finds that some of the diamonds get stuck in the grooves of the tray. If they do, you, you sometimes when they're made, there's a tiny, tiny slither that might be a little bit wider than these grooves. If it is, just push it along, um, and add it to something else. Make sure you've got brand new sticky and it will come off. Um, if not, then you've just got a dud one. Don't stress about it, just move on. But I I never used to sort of straighten up my diamonds, but now it's it's become sort of a, a regular thing. And then you can use the, you know, signs like that to, having it like this makes it a lot easier. And that's the reason for why the, the, the grooves are the same. Is it the same with squares? Because I only do squares. So, um, Sue, make sure you get one of these if you're doing squares, okay, with this nib. Um, to be fair, the multi-places don't work as well with squares, but if you've got big sections, they do. Um, and I haven't tried squares with this yet, but I will. So, as I mentioned before, um, Halloween's coming up, so I wanted to see what sort of Halloween pictures they had. Um, and as I said, there was this one here. This was really cute, and actually on Art Painting World, this was $4.99, okay? And it actually comes with some really pretty diamonds. Now, as you can see, some of these have got a little bit of a shimmer to them. These are called AB drills. Um, so if you see something that says AB drills, it means they're a little bit blingy, which is my favorite type. Um, and then I wanted to see what other bits they've got for Christmas. If you've got kids, you want to get some of these stickers. They are so, so cute. Look at those. These are only a couple of quid as well. It's not even expensive. All right, so it gives the kids something to do at Christmas. Um, you know, you can get that, buy, buy those and put them on pictures for people um, or on cards. They're really, really cute. They're called Cutie Pop. Um, and they are now, you can get them on most of the, most of the websites, but as I said, most of my stuff comes from Art Painting World. Then there was this that was a bit different, so, um, which is a Christmas stocking, right, that you diamond art and you sew together and it even came with the sewing quit. So you literally do the little stocking and then you just kind of sew it together apparently so i'm going to give that one a go um soon missy is it art painting world yes artpaintingworld.com but don't have a look yet because um, i'm going to give you a discount code later on for that um and i'm going to show you this was my recent square diamond picture look at my babies these were my babies. Now, this was actually from rowdiamonds.co.uk. They're based in the UK. Um, and this was my latest square diamond picture. And I absolutely love it. Um, so now you can see this is the washi tape that's on the side. So now the picture's finished. I can take this off. Right? Doesn't matter if it gets stuck. I'll just use the tweezers and get those off. And as you can see there, it's much cleaner than this bit here. Okay, so this bit I didn't put any washi tape on to see how dirty that was going to get by the time um, I was finished the picture. And as you can see, it's a little bit grubby, but this bit here ah, is nice and clear. So that's going to be the same. Washi tape will get stuck. 
some of them do stain the picture um, but if you're going to put them in a frame then basically you just cut around the edge here and then you won't see any of the stuck wash washi tape I'm going to do that now here are some finished pictures from Art Painting World um, look at that isn't he gorgeous really 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 nice um, this was also from Art Painting World the codes were quite easy to read as well um, and that's just really really pretty and uh, we've got this one here look at that so these are all from Art Painting World these are ones that are finished um, if you're into your animals they had a really lovely animal section actually but just look amazing that and this is the thing the reason why I'm showing you these pictures is because of the quality um, a lot of questions are asked in the group um, about uh, you know where where's the best place to get them from and sometimes you're not too happy so the reason why I promote Art Painting World so much is because it comes from the same company and um, it comes from China um, and they're just really really good ones this is one that's been started um, hasn't quite finished it yet but you can see here the codes are really clear and this is what you want because sometimes you'll pick up a diamond art picture and you can't really read the codes and you need the light pad for underneath so as you can see even the dark one there the J's there are really really nice um, hi Pamela hi Christine um, Sue loves the horse thank you very much um, again getting ready for Christmas look at that how lovely is that really really nice we like that one and we've got some flowers here you can always find flower pictures butterflies again these are all from Art Painting World um, so those are the ones that have been done so far let me just move those out of the way um, this I think when I finish the fat lady I'm going to work on her next she looks stunning I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous Vanessa do I prefer round or square I'll be honest with you I like both I don't have an issue anymore um, squares I had an issue with to start off with and always like the round ones um, but now I've got the right tools I love doing the square pictures um, so she's stunning so I'm looking forward to working on her now this one came from Amazon um, I was just having a bit of a nose um, and this one came from Amazon so that's a very iconic picture there um, it's quite a large one as well it's 55 by 45 so I've noticed there's been a few messages from people wanting to see what big pictures you can get um, so that's why I'm going to show a couple of these this one I think everybody has seen on Amazon um, I actually bought this like a year ago <laughs> I've just not had a chance to do it that's massive um, and the coding on here is quite clear as well but the thing is though why put a musical note on it I mean because I, I like to write it on. So this here is an is a bit... See, I don't like symbols like this, right? Because they make it quite difficult to see sometimes. But they are actually quite clear, so it's not too bad. Um, but look, then they've got like Chinese and Jewish symbols in there. That's going to be fun to do. <laughs> I don't like all the different shapes. Um, so how many is there? There's 30. So there's 30 different colours there. So that's going to be fun to do when I get a chance. Um, and then panel pictures. I've not done a panel picture yet. So I have one here. Love. Da, da, da. So has anyone that's watching done a panel picture? Do you just buy a frame that it fits in like that or do you actually cut them up because I haven't done one before so the line is there to cut it I suppose but I think I'd rather find try and find a frame that fits in it so this is 95 centimeters by 45 centimeters and this is a game from Art Painting World uh, Pamela where are they from so they're all from um, Art Painting World so there's such great pictures which have all gone flying now um, one of the other things that I saw when it comes to the larger pictures is custom prints so custom prints are really difficult and uh, you need to make sure that you've got the right size for the picture so if you've got a lot going on in the picture you want it bigger and you want to go big you want to go really big how about 120 centimeters by 120 centimeters look at that <laughs> So this was, this is actually really old now. It was my dad's 70th birthday and this is all the kids in the family. It's massive, 
120 centimeters by 120 centimeters. So if you're gonna do pictures with a lot of uh, detail in it, you wanna get it, get it big. Uh, where can you get the square pen from? I'm gonna put um, all of the um, details of everything that I've shown all into a big post, which I'll put on once the live is finished. Okay, well, just give me a bit of time and I'll put it all together. And uh, before I go to sleep tonight, I 100% promise I'll put a link to everything that's here. So artpaintingworld.com, wait for me to do that because they've also kindly given me a discount code that gives you 10% off everything and anything on their website. So let's check back at this sealant, okay? So, I don't know, can you see any different? Let's have a look. I think I probably needed to put more on. Uh, let's try and flick a diamond off. Should we try and flick one off? Okay, maybe. But does it look like it's got a sparkle? Tarina, that's going to take me a long time to do that big one. I know. <laughs> I know. So if you saw when I started the live feed, um, I put a sealant on here that's got a bit of a shimmer. I don't think it even looks anything different, to be fair. So I'm thinking, let's go again. Let's go again. Let's give this sealant another go. It's been half an hour. But I think I probably need to go a little bit closer and it did say 20 centimetres didn't it so it's about this okay so that is spray and sparkle okay and it's the second time that um, I've sprayed it as you can see it's got little sparkly bits that's why you need to put a cover underneath it so it protects your table um, but I don't think it makes much of a difference but we'll see We'll see. So what I need to do now is like hang it up on the wall um, and see if anything comes off. But you can see it looks a bit glossy, which is fine. I don't think it's changed the colour. Um, it had a little bit of a shimmer to it, so we'll see. Right, okay. Who fancies that iPad? Woohoo! So it's not an iPad, a light pad. I keep doing that. I keep freaking you out and saying I'm going to give away an iPad. So a couple of weeks ago, um, I asked you all to join me and you had to send a little message and that message had to say that you wanted the light pad and where you were from. So what I did, whoops, is I took all of your names and 100%, <laughs> I'm old school, okay? So I'm a little bit old fashioned. So everybody that entered the draw a couple of weeks ago, um, I said a little hello and I put all your names in this hat, okay? So you're gonna win the light pad and I'm gonna show you what this light pad has in store, okay? So a big box um, and it's from our friends at Art Painting World. Oops, <laughs> sorry, yeah, going flying. Um, so we've got, let me open this up. Ah, there we go. Right, so we've got lots of bits and pieces in here. Okay, uh, we're going to give you um, a light pad. Um, I'm going to give you some tools. I'm even going to give you this little bag to put it in. And you've got a little stand um, to be able to hold the light pad up if you want to sit it up. Okay, I don't recommend that to be fair. Um, I'm more of a keep it flat have the light pad down um, especially when it's in the evening and um, it makes such a difference to your pictures so there's the hat okay here's a little hat <laughs> right so I'm gonna do it so you guys could all see all right let's give it a bit of a shake and a shimmy who have we got Penny Coombs in the Isle of Wight. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Well done, Penny. You have won yourself um, an A4 light pad with the bag, with the tray, and uh, I'm going to throw in some other bits and pieces as well. So, uh, Penny, send me a private message with all your details, and I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. So, um, everybody was in there. Uh, on the orange donut, first on the third roll, what are you saying? Are you saying something's wrong with the donut? 
I don't know what you mean. Um, I don't, still don't have a light pad. Vanessa, go get yourself a light pad. 100% light pads are the absolute bomb and they're totally, totally needed. So, well, listen, I hope that you all enjoyed everything that I showed you. Uh, bear with me and within the next hour or so, I will put a post up that will have a link to everything, everything that I bought i can obviously send you the link from uh from amazon so you can get it yourself as well art painting world they've got 10 percent off that i can give you so hang on for that post uh when i put that into the group very very soon and that'll give you 10 percent off of everything that i've seen unfortunately i have contacted amazon on more than one occasion and told them that i do all this stuff for diamond art and i'm trying to get a discount code out of them it's not happened just yet but i'm working on it um, i literally spend my life either on amazon or art painting world and that's all you need obviously look if you've just started it you don't need to spend great fortunes but just make sure you've got a good pen and a big tray and a good space to be able to work on you don't have to rush i was doing it eight hours a day when we were in lockdown and, and we weren't working now obviously i'm back at work i only get a chance to do it at the weekends so it doesn't matter if you don't do it every single day it doesn't matter if you have a break um, don't criticise people for it either and there's been a little bit of that going on in the group we don't need it at all whatsoever be nice, be kind and just enjoy um, Sharon, she's new I hope you haven't just joined um, because you've missed loads of bits and pieces but you can look on this back um, I have just started a YouTube channel as well for, so there's more of these tips and hints that you guys can see um, thanks for all the tips and tricks uh, from Trina Gardner thank you very much uh, hi Linda, hi Kim, um, Michelle and Sharon um, Orange Donut is missing a diamond I know, this was why I suddenly thought well maybe getting a sealant is worth it um, because when I have run out of frames to put them in or run out of space on the wall to be able to put them on I actually put them in a bag it was one of those art folders that you can pick up for next to nothing just a big A4 folder um, and I've just laid everything in there but what's happened is that the pictures have rubbed together and I've noticed that some of the diamonds have come off so that's why I thought okay if I'm storing it like this, then I should maybe check out the sealant situation. So um, I'll put a picture of this up later because it's going to need like another half an hour now and see if it's made a difference. Um, I think I took a picture of it beforehand. So I want to see whether the, the colour of the diamonds have changed. I don't think they have, um, actually. I'm thinking it still looks, they still look quite nice. Um, and I think that just needs a really decent frame to go on it pamela you're so kind oh thank you um nice thanks for all your messages where are you guys all from sharon i love doing diamond art paintings i've got my two daughters doing them now as well so on uh, art painting world as well have a look at some of the crafts because then you can get smaller bits to do for the kids like bookmarks and pencil cases um and little lights actually um, I'm going to do that in a couple of weeks time I'm going to show you other things that you can diamond art um, but that's it now from me so thank you very much I'll be back in a couple more weeks um, hopefully I would have done a few more pictures um, and get some more new items in to be able to show you about I'm also going to do some more lessons later on a bit uh, on some tutorials with multi places and um, to try and help you guys out and tweezers as well so look out for that in the next couple of weeks but um, have a lovely evening, morning or afternoon, wherever it is that you're watching from. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you in a couple of weeks.